What's one of our favorite things to do when it's windy outside? Fly a kite. Yeah, fly a kite. It's not very fun when there's no wind. No. <laughs> I think don't fly. Are you trying to show off your tooth? Your missing tooth? <laughs> yeah. You lost a tooth, didn't you? Yeah, right here. Yeah, pretty cool. Super excited because it's your first tooth, right? Yeah. Did the tooth fairy come? Yeah, it gives me four dollars. Well, lucky duck. <laughs> We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah! All right. We're gonna first start by drawing the sticks to our kite. We're gonna draw one stick that's diagonal. We're gonna draw it coming down like this. So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down. So we're gonna draw it flying up in the air. Good. Now we're gonna draw a shorter line going across. So we're gonna draw a shorter line that comes across the top. So we're gonna start over here. Right there, and we're gonna draw a shorter line. And it's across. like a lowercase t. Yeah, it looks like a lowercase t. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now we're gonna connect the edges, okay? We'll start up at the top. We're gonna connect to the side. Then looks we're gonna. like a four now. It does look like a four. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna connect all the way down, and then we're gonna connect the opposite side also, all the way over. And look at that, we have our diamond kite. Can yeah. you cut? You wanna connect them? Yeah. Good job, and I like the little corner you put on the top. <laughs> That's okay, right? Yeah. We're practicing, and the most important thing is? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Okay, now we need to add some details to our kite. Now, the sticks on our kite are sticking out on each end. So we're gonna draw a little box. Look at that, little rectangle at the top, little rectangle at the bottom, and we can draw little rectangles on the side also. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, now the next thing we need to add to our kite is the tail. And the tail is what keeps the kite kind of straight or flying up in the air instead of crashing down onto the ground. So we're gonna draw an S line, watch this. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an S line. Comes down, up, and then back down. Is Are that- Are drawing a person? No, it's a kite. We're drawing a kite, <laughs> not a person. <laughs> Do you think we're drawing the person flying the kite? Yeah. Oh, that person's gonna be down on the ground. This kite's up in the air. So let's draw a snake line, an S line that curves down. Kim. So I'll curve down, back up, yeah, and then back up, and then back down. Cool. Good job. That's a really long kite tail. I like it. <laughs> now we can draw the bows on the end of our tail, and we're going to do it by first drawing an X. So watch this. We're going to draw an X, and the X is going to cross on the tail. I know it's a little tricky. We're gonna draw an X. This is the first bow, and then we're gonna draw another one going the opposite direction. And we want it to cross, yep, right on the string. And then on the end of the X, we're gonna connect it to complete the bow. That's a really simple way to draw a bow. Yeah. Now we're gonna repeat that, and we're gonna draw a couple more bows going all the way down our tail. So we'll just repeat those same steps, okay? Yeah. All right, we did it, we finished drawing our kites. Now if we wanted to, we could draw another line that comes down, and that's the line that's going down to the person that's flying the kite. But we're gonna leave it off, we'll leave it just like this. Now, we're done drawing, what do we still need to do though? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look so much better once we finish coloring our kite. Now, we're gonna fast forward this part, but you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring, or you could use your imagination and color your kite any way you want. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, dude, we did it. We finished coloring our kites and you did awesome. I love this little sun up there with the funny face. And I also love your clouds and you use different colors to color your kite. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Now I also colored the whole background and that's a lot of fun if you have extra time. We hope you all have fun drawing your kites. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to add extra details to your background. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. You said Goodbye. No, you said goodbye. No, I didn't. No, you said goodbye. No, I said bye.
No, you said goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.